Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, October 31st. Philadelphia fire investigators are trying to pinpoint what started an overnight house fire in Juniata Park. Two children and an adult are being treated for smoke inhalation. Firefighters did manage to quickly contain the fire. It happened on the 3800 block of Bennington Street. A man known for dressing up as children's characters at parties is now charged with raping five young boys. Investigators say Michael Cripps got access to the boys, some as young as five years old, by befriending their mothers. They also say he slept at some of the boys' homes. Now, Delaware County investigators fear there could be more victims. And Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf says existing gambling revenue will not be used to close the state budget gap, but expanded gambling legislation could help do just that. Wolf Signature makes Pennsylvania the fourth state to allow online gambling and allows other gambling expansion across the state. Pennsylvania is looking to make up a $2 billion budget shortfall. All right, let's send it over to Katie and get a check on today's Halloween forecast. How, Katie? Hey there, hell. You know, when it comes to how we stack up against history, this ends up being a pretty typical Halloween forecast for us and a nice one at that. But let's take you just for fun, go back in time and look at where we ended up stacking up when it came to the warmest, the coldest, the snowiest, yes, and even the wettest Halloweens ever since records began here in Philly. And, you know, back in 1925, that was a banner year. Not only was it the coldest uh, with a high of just 41, but we even recorded four tenths of an inch of snow fall that day. So the farthest cry from that story here today, what you are going to find though is bright and brilliant sunshine, a little breezy through the daylight hours. But as that sun goes down, the wind should ease up. So it looks really good for trick or treat purposes. The full moon, it's almost a full moon. We're actually at a waxing gibbous moon this evening, but with a generally clear sky as the sun goes down and a few clouds rolling in as trick or treat is wrapping up later on tonight. It also turns chilly too through the course of the evening relatively quickly. So I would advise an extra layer under the cotton. Costume. By the time we get Thursday and Friday, though, big warm up. A couple of days in the mid 70s. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecasts and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.